Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to share four new scents or new to me scents that were just sent over from beautiful Larive from Genre Parfums. I'm so excited about these ones. So she had emailed me saying that she wanted to send a couple of the new ones when they came out. I'm so grateful that she sends these to me because I can't get my life together to, oh my gosh you guys, I've got like probably eight different carts going right now. I'm just like, I've, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mess. I'm just a mess. If she wasn't sending these to me, I would be missing out so much because I, at one point I had a genre cart going, I think on Etsy, but by the time I would get around to going back to like look through things, things would be sold out. So then I'd be like, okay, well I'll just wait, but then I'll forget and I'll never go back. So I'm just so grateful that she sends these over to me. I can't even tell you how grateful I am. But anyway, she sent me a beautiful um, card. She always tells me what the scents are, which I'm so grateful for as well, because then I don't have to, um, she just makes it super easy for me. Then I don't have to try to find them on my own, which I can be really bad at that too. So anyway, she sent four new genre scents. And oh, you guys, I've already tested a couple of them and they're amazing, just like every other one has been. We're gonna start with this one here called Sweet Suede. There we go, is that? Yes, it's called Sweet Suede. This is inspired by Yves Saint Laurent Baby Cat which I've heard such good things about. And I did test this one on my hand and it's so, so pretty. I haven't looked up the notes in this one yet, but this one is like, it's kind of sweet. It's really, really smooth and sweet. I think it's got some kind of like wood in the base. It's really, really smooth and sweet right up my alley. <laughs> um, I love a good sweet fragrance. I've heard such good things about Baby Cat, so so I'm really, really excited to have this and to have been able to smell it. Genre makes amazing dupes, like amazing. And I know because another one that I've gotten here, I've got the original for and oh my goodness, it smells exactly like it. So I'm quite sure this smells exactly like the original. It's super nice. So anyways, that one is called Sweet Suede and then that is a smell alike of YSL Baby Cat. Next, we have got this one called Pomalishuis and she said the owner of the house put out a little video explaining how to say the name of this. I can't even see on the viewfinder if you guys can see that name or not. I think you can. There it is, Pomalishuis. And so she's got it written out for me here, like phonetically, Pomalishuis. And this is a blend inspiration of Dior Feb de Lisieux and Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. So what an interesting combination. Oh my gosh, and it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I would have never thought to put those two fragrances together and it smells so good. Wow. You get the you get the kind of spice warm tonka from Feb de Lisieux and then the tart sweet but but still dark and the combination of them is beautiful. It's really really nice. It leans, I would say this one leans a little bit more masculine than feminine, but not so much that I'm not going to totally rock this. You guys know I don't really love to smell masculine, and but this one doesn't smell, it leans masculine, but it doesn't smell so masculine that I would be uncomfortable wearing it. Two of these I tested on my hand as soon as I got them. I just got them today. And then two, um, I haven't tested it, and this is one of the ones I haven't. So I'm super excited to give this one a good full wear test, which I will do with all four of these, and I will, of course, update you guys in a what I wore last week video. So anyways, that one is called Pamalishuis. Okay, and then she also sent this one. This is called Carnal Leather. And this one, Carnal Leather. And this is, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a spot on clone for Nasamato Nudiflorum. Spot on, smells identical to it. Like I say, I'll test them side by side for you guys, but I can't. It's such a distinct smell. Like, it's such a distinct smell. It's so unmistakable. It smells exactly like it. 
Exactly. I love it. So yeah, this, and I have a feeling that this one is going to be absolutely nuclear. It's, uh, this is one that, you know how when you first get a perfume, you have to spray it in order to smell it, even like in the nozzle? Not this one. I could smell this. It was like radiating from it as soon as I took it out of the package. Um, it's so, so strong, which Nudiflorum is so, so strong too. So what an amazing, clone and for the price wow i can't even tell you guys the quality is just crazy with these so that one is called carnal leather and then last she sent this one i'm again i'm so grateful because this is one that i've been meaning to order and i was just gonna blind buy a full bottle of it because i just knew i was gonna love it and i was not wrong um this is the fragrance called creme de la creme and this is a clone of creme de la creme this is a clone of Elisab Amand and Tonka, which I've been dying to get my nose on this one. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. This one is absolutely stunning. It is, I tested this one on my hand. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this fragrance. Is it is exactly that. It's warm tonka and almond. It's not like a powdery almond though. It's almost for me sometimes almond in fragrance can also or can almost have like a cinnamon a, like a a cinnamon quality to it. It can almost be smell like warm cinnamon to me but not but without being sweet so rather than powdery sometimes almond will smell like cinnamon to me and this and i love it when it does it's one of my favorite things in the world i'm trying to think of another fragrance that yeah, i'm trying to think of another fragrance it's like right on the tip of my tongue another fragrance where the almond almost smells like cinnamon to me oh in comptoir sud pacifique eclat damans that almond also, ha it smells, I don't know why, but it smells like cinnamon to me. And I get the same kind of feel with this one. And I absolutely love it. So it's this beautiful warm tonka and almost like a cinnamony almond. Just the slightest touch of powder, not really powdery. I am obsessed with it. In fact, it reminds me, um, this does remind me a little bit of Contour Sud Pacifique Eclat Damans. It's amazing. So yeah, so excited to give this one a good full wear test. I, again, I just sprayed it on my hand and um, I, haven't, I haven't given any of these a full wear test, but I'm gonna wear every single one this week and I will update you guys uh, for sure. So anyways, that one is creme de la creme. And so that is it. A huge thank you to beautiful Reeves for sending those over to me. I am eternally grateful. I would just be completely lost without you, seriously, because I can't get my life together. Anyways, you guys, I do hope that you enjoyed that and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.